Fire slots, Dr. Kelly the Morgan, Dr. Trapp Peter Brogan, 90 days secure. Dead lights, I have no beads, 10 seconds, fall away, reflect. Dr. Kelly the Morgan, once again, Dr. Trapp Peter Brogan, 90 days secure. Now Lynn, Dr. Trapp the Dead, they're clean. You gonna take some with you or what? Or are you going out there? Anyways, my ladies, I cracked the dampers that are clean. Check for underneath the truck. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now, if you can think of the word bear as an answer. You don't say to them bear, but think of the letters. P for my belts. Not afraid to rip the torn, not an inch secure, not less than half of one three quarter inch play. E for my exhaust from the front of the engine, put the exhaust manifold all the way back to the tailpipe. Now, Craig, you guys might want to spread it out, make a big U, so you're not standing in front of somebody so everybody can see as well as here. Plus the COVID D. You got to come back about six feet. No stick feet. All right. Look to your left. Hey, for alternator, not crap better broken, mounted and secured, it's still driven. R, my radiator hose, not radiator. Radiator hose and all other hoses on both sides of that motor. Not further counter bulging, mounted securely and not leaking. Rubber, what's ever metal? Not crap metal broken, mounted and secured. Whatever's plastic, rubber. Not Freddy Cutter Bolton. Not over here. Spread out again like a big U. Somebody can hear. Everybody get perky over there, right? Gotcha. Good. Over here, I'm going to work the engine like a C. Cool. I'm staring at all the way forward. Even though that's all it says on there, I like to be throw a little bit of ash right there. Then I cracked metal broken, binded and secured, not leaking. Walk back here, my little air lines, which I'm running the compressor. Put some compressors in the lower part of that engine inside the pressure. Back. Okay. My air lines, not ready to cut or mold them, not securely, not leaking air, and my compressor. It's not cracked metal broken, binded and secured, pure driven, and not leaking. Fire steering pump's right next to it. Can't see it, but it's right down there in that general area. Just point. My crack metal broken, mounted and secured, gear driven, and not leaking. Walk back up, Mark. My crack metal broken, mounted and secured, belt driven, and not leaking. My frame, both sides, front to back. My crack metal broken, mounted and secured, no bolts missing, and no welding repairs. Over here, we have our suspension. It's this whole truck. Has control arms on it. Truck and trailer. All right. My front control arm now, the rear control arm now. With control arm bushings, U bolts, and shock. My crap metal broken, mounted and secured. The shock is not leaking hydraulics. Steering gearbox. My crap metal broken, mounted and secured. I a low pressure line, same things as hoses. If you're not sure which one it is, it's simple. The high pressure has a compression fitting on it. The low has where you can take off with a pair of pliers. All right. <laughs> Connect the rods and links. Pitman arc, drag links, stair knuckle, tie rod, and tie rod ends. Back grab metal broken, mounted and secured. No missing castanet or carter bit. Our brakes. Now remember, we have rotors and pads, not drums and lights. You got your brake hose, brake line, brake chamber. I've done a drive bent and broken, mounted and secured. Rotors and pads. I've drive bent and broken, mounted and secured, no missing parts. Not worn dangerously thin, and I can easily see them. Okay, then we come to the tire. You can use the letters ICD. One, inflated to manufacture specifications. C for conditions. No holders, no cuts, D for tire depth. Cannot be less than 4.30 seconds. 
I can hear it better if you can get finish smoking. It's hard hearing to uh, try to keep that in your mouth and talk at the same time. I know how you to keep my cigarette out of my mouth. That away. <laughs> All right. That was my side cap light. Drop the color and work it. Not quite bit of broken, mounted and secured. Mirror, mirror bracket. Not quite bit of broken, mounted and secured. The mirror's clean. My door, door hinges, door latch. Not quite bit of broken, mounted and secured. Head opens and closes properly. DEF tank, pieces with sauce to it. Not decent. Today it's not cracked, been a broken, not scared, the cap is tight, not leaking, not less than one eighth of a ton. Fuel tank, not cracked, been a broken, not scared, the cap is tight, not leaking. Side compartment, which we keep our emergency equipment. Number three, DOT reflector tri. One, memo. 10 pound BC, fully charged fire extinguisher, extra electrical fuses. Now, crap better broken, mounted, and secured, not leaking. What can be leaking? Fire. 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 It don't hardly, it don't happen that often, but it could. It can. All right, let's go back here. Remember, guys, you can add, if you add Excuse something me. to it, they're not going to give you credit for it. But they're not going to take away from you either. But be thorough about what you're talking about. Make sure they understand what you're talking about. And if somebody you get stage fright, which it happens, don't look at them. Face the truck, face the parts. Just speak loud enough where they can hear you. Yep. All right, the back of my truck. I have my airline. <laughs> my freight cutter bolting, mounted and secured. On the back of the tractor to the front of the trailer. Okay, we're glad as it seals intact. And not leaking. Electrical wire. No bare wires. No cut wire. Now securely from the back of the tractor to the front of the trailer with a retainer clip. Alright, then we have our drive shaft. Back crack that are broken, mounted and secured, the rejoin secured, the secure. Then we have our catwalk, stairs, side steps. No debris or obstacles in our way. Not crack better broken, mounted and secured. Splash guard, mud flap. Not crack better broken, mounted and secured. Not touching the tires or uh, rubbing the tires or touching the ground. Once again, not crack better broken, mounted and secured. Then our suspension. Front control arm mount with control arm with bushings. U bolts. Rear control arm mount mounted underneath the airbag and shock. Not crap better broken, mounted and secured. The airbags not ripped or torn, mounted securely, not leaking. And my shock is not leaking hydraulic fluid. Next thing is our brakes. Now remember, there's drums and linings in all parts of the wooden. Brake room, brake chamber, not dented, crap, dented, broken, mounted and secured. Then, then we got our push rod, slide adjusters. Not crap better broken, mounted and secured. No more than one inch of travel while brakes are released. No missing pins or carter pins. Our drums and linings. Not crap better broken, mount securely, not worn dangerously thin. And you can visually see them if you get out of the truck. Don't say that part, but if you were to go under there, you'd be able to see them. All right? Now what I do is I bundle <coughs> something that I've already talked about. And you can do this. Or you can break it completely down again. There's no rules. Okay? Uh, my tires, rims, lug nuts, inner and outer axle seals. Even though these are axle seals, and those are hub, you still get credit for the same thing. Okay? I'm going to spec these like I did on my steers. Now, crap better broken, mounted and secure. Exception. Tire depth can happen less than two to three seconds. And spacing. No debris between the tires. The tires aren't rubbing. Okay. 
Then I'm going to come to the couple. I'm going to talk about it the way they build them. From the frame up. Okay? You got your mounting bolt and frame. No bolts missing. Not grab bed or broken. Mounted ain't secured. Lock your pins. They're in the locked position. What holds the fifth wheel? The platform. Not grab bed or broken. Mounted ain't secured. But now my fifth wheel is skid plate. Not crack bed or broken. Mounted ain't secured. Release end is in the locked position. Airline. I'm going to speak it like I did all my other airlines. Not fairly cut or moldy, mounted securely, not leaking. Apron. Not grab bed or broken, mounted and secured, no space or gap between it and the skid plate. Then I have my key pin, which is not grab bed or broken, mounted and secured, lock and jaws, locked securely around the key pin shank. Have you noticed I've been saying a lot of not crack bed or broken? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You ever don't, don't say it on your sheet? <coughs> Pits, though. Okay. Back of my butt flyer, and it's DOT required that you have your DOT reflector tape. Proper color, not ripped or torn, mounted and secured. Also, check for enough spacing or gap between the back of my tractor to the front of my landing gear. Now I'm going to talk about all my lights, reflectors, <laughs> turn signals, four ways, brake lights, running light, reverse light. All proper color and working. Not crack better broken, mounted and secured. Let's go back up here to the trailer. It makes like a new or whatever. Okay, my head aboard, no holes, no damage. Not crap better broken, mounted and secured. Okay, all my lights. Clearance lights, mid marker lights, and a foot with an ABS light. Proper color and working. Not crap better broken, mounted and secured. DOT reflector tape on both sides of my trailer, front to back. Proper color, not ripped to torn, mounted and secured. Then I'm going to talk about my frame. I just use ribbons for all about. Okay. Both sides, front to back, top to bottom. Cross members, not crack bit broken, mounted and secured, no holes in the floor. Landing gear, support frame. Not crack bit broken, mounted and secured in the raised position. And the handle secured in the cradle. Come back here. First off, I'm going to talk about my tandem frame. Not crack bed or broken, mounted and secured. Lock pins in the locked position. My release head is in the locked position. Not crack bed or broken, mounted and secured. Then we're we'll looking at my suspension. I got like a box with a bolt. That's my front control arm mount with control arm with bushings. There's no U-bolts. It's welded to the axle. But you do have airbags and shelves. Okay, not crap metal broken, mounted and secured. Airbag, and I'll say it again. Not ripped, torn, freighted, mount securely, not leaking. <coughs> and my shot is not leaking hydraulic fluid. I already talked about the brakes on the drives. They're identical. So I'm just gonna bump them. Name all the parts, okay? Got your brake holes, brake chamber, push rods, slack adjusters, pins, cotter pins. Drums and linings. I would expect the same as I did on my drums. I crack metal broken, mounted and secured. I'll make it right. Now my tires. Same thing what's on the drives. Okay, my tires, rams, like us, in and out or huff seal. And spacing. I would expect the same as I did on my drives. I crack metal broken, mounted and secured. The tire depth cannot be less than two. 30 seconds. Come over here. Pump flat. Got to go broken down. Get back to my trailer. I have my door, door hinges, door latches, door locks, and door handles. Not crap metal broken, mounted and secure. All my lights, identification lights. Not clear slides. Okay, turn circles, four ways, brake lights, running light, license plate light. And mark them. All proper color and working. Not crack bit or broken, mounted and secured. On the bottom of my door, have my DOT reflective tape. And on my DOT bumper. 
ICC bar, which is bump. All proper color and working, not ripped or torn. Bonded and secure. Now, before I say anything about this side, is there anything I forgot? If there is, raise your hand. Door. The door. I did mention the door. You did all the door, the latches. Oh, I did say the bump flat. Did you? So in the back of my mind, I'm going to go over a little bit and see if I forgot something, maybe. You do the lights? Huh? The lights? You did the lights? You did. Clear sight, mid market light, and yeah. equipment ABS. All right. But if I'm pretty sure I didn't forget nothing, because they will let you go back and show them. Or they may have you just stay right here until you still get credit for it. So, on the passenger side, I would inspect the same as I did on the driver's side. And that completes my outside picture. Okay.